Greetings YouTube, Joe here with Colonation Media and welcome back to the very next episode of The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. This is episode number 13 and as you can see we just walked past the entrance to Kakariko Village and if you keep going, oh I probably should not have jumped in the water like that because the current's going the wrong way and I'm retarded. Anywho, we're headed over to eventually where the Zora's River is because that's where we need to go to get to our next dungeon and our next destination. So, uh, yeah, there's a sign over here that kind of points you in the right direction, but it's almost impossible to see unless you actually come over here. So just take my word for it that this is the way we need to go. And there you go, Zora's River. And I see Mr. Al. Does he actually have a name, by the way? Does anybody know? Because I don't. I feel like I should, but I don't. Um, yeah, we got a magic jar for the first time. So that uh, is what you need to be on the lookout for when you're low on magic. All that good stuff. Apparently I was using a lot of it. Hoo-hoo! Well, looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already. Yeah, you say that every time you see me. Nothing new. Just the head lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family, but lucky for us, we do, because we are important. Let them hear the melody of the royal family, which, of course, is Zelda's lullaby, so we're going to be playing that a little bit later on in this episode when we get over to um, the entrance into the uh, Zora's domain. But for now, um, we're going to be blowing up some rocks. Yeah, how did that miss? I just wasted a bomb. Uh, okay, so you want to hit that tree because there is a gold skulltula in there. Slice it a couple times and uh, get your token and move on. Navi, shut up. I wonder if Saria knows anything about the other spiritual stone. I'm not going to ask her about it because I really don't care about her opinion. Much like I don't care about yours, Navi, I also don't care about Saria. That's why I don't go back to visit her. And yeah, so I'm never going to go back there. We actually won't even see Saria again until we're an adult because... Um, we do have to see her before we go into the forest temple and all that stuff, but that's going to be something that we do uh, when we do become an adult, and that is going to be after we complete this. Oh, it did not mean to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. We're about to get our asses kicked, my friends. I guess this is a, as good a time as any to show this. I wasn't trying to do that. I was just... No. Oh, God, I'm getting sworn by cuckoos. Good thing I'm a ninja. You guys can't hit me. You got nothing on me. Yeah. Oh, God. There's so many of them. <laughs> no. Get away from me, you crazy birds. Uh, let me leave. <laughs> I just want to go outside. Okay. Yeah. I'm back. Okay. So that was fun. Now it's nighttime. And we need to talk to this guy over here. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. So you're going to want to buy as many of these as you can afford. Uh, unfortunately, it will go up in price every time you buy them. So, like, the second time, I think it's 20 rupees, and then it goes up to 30, and so on and so forth. I can't believe I just said that. I used to make fun of someone as a kid for saying that all the time. Anyway, buy as many as you can afford, because uh, these are little magic beans that you plant, and then will grow uh, into full plants that kind of, like, hover. And I'll show you a little bit later on, but uh, they grow into the full plants that you need uh, to have after you uh, become an adult. So you need to plant them as a child and then go to the same place as an adult. That was a really bad way to explain it, but anyway, it leads most of the time to uh, heart pieces and things like that. Uh, most of the time it's not necessary uh, as far as the game progression, but if you want to get heart pieces and all those things, uh, you're going to want to buy these. So I personally am trying to get at least some heart pieces so, uh, yeah, let's plant one of these beans right here, because these are what the uh, patches look like. And it's going to sprout up and look all pretty! Yay! Okay, so we actually need to grab the cuckoo over here, and then you can fly across the uh, stream. Because if you jump in the stream, it's not going to work out very well. Get away from me, Octorok. I don't like Octoroks. They make me sad. They always hit me with it. Hey! Hey, how dare you shoot me in the... How dare you shoot me in the... How dare you shoot me in the ass with your stupid things. Whatever they are. Projectiles. You made my cuckoo run away, you bastard. 
Uh, I'm not having a good day, guys. First I get mauled by chickens, and now this freaking octopus mutant thing is shooting seeds at my butt while I'm trying to carry my chicken. Uh, I was just trying to fly around. There's nothing wrong with that. You need to leave me alone. Okay. Catching my breath here. I'm gonna grab my slingshot because normally you can... Oh, do that. Okay, I guess that works. Why do you hate me today, game? I love you. Give me my chicken back. My cuckoo. Oh, there's a heart piece up there. Yay, we're actually gonna get something useful. Woohoo! I almost missed that. <laughs> really bad. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so the way to get up on this ledge here is similar to the fence in Kakariko Village. So you want to fly over there, I guess glide that is, and then let go at the last second. The cuckoo will end up going up there and you'll grab onto the ledge, which is pretty cool. And then uh, you don't need to do that to get the heart piece. You can just jump right off there as long as you have it squared up correctly. And uh, there you go. And you throw the cuckoo down to pick up the piece of heart and it might just do that and do a suicide jump into the water off of uh, the ledge. I don't even know where he is, but I don't care because I don't think we need him at this point. So I'm not really going to worry about that. Is it me or is time passing by like way too fast? Like I I've already gone through like two or three cycles of night or day since I've been in the Zorus River, which is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of strange. We don't want to go this way because it's blocked off by a fence. There's the chicken, by the way. The cuckoo. Why do I keep calling it a chicken? I guess because it resembles a chicken. It's actually a cuckoo. Random rock. Never understood why that was the only rock like in this entire area, pretty much. Just hanging out by itself. Hey, I'm a rock on a hill. Okay, so there's only one way to go here. And... Oh yeah, there's a golden skulltula over there, so we're gonna go grab that. Because I think this uh, skulltula is only around at night, so... We're gonna grab it while we're here, because I am indeed going to forget about it if I don't get it at this time. Pick up the uh, token, and we're already at uh, the Zora's Domain. It is right up here. To the right is gonna be a shortcut, and I believe that might lead out to... I don't know where that leads out to. I was gonna say the Lost Woods, but I'm not sure if that's it or not. So, it's either the Lost Woods or, like, Lake Helia. Hylia. Ugh. Can't talk. Play Zelda's Lullaby, and the waterfall is going to slow down a little bit for you. And uh, that will allow you to go in, pretty much. There's nothing else over here. There's a heart piece, but uh, you're going to want to have the boomerang before you grab that one. So we don't have the boomerang, but we need to get it. And uh, we're working on it. So we'll be back to get that heart piece a little bit later on, uh, after we deal with the inside of Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, which is coming up, hopefully in the next episode, maybe? We'll see how things go. Well, maybe the episode after that, I'm not sure. Because there's a couple of things that I want to do before we actually dive right into that. A Dooku stick, yay, rupees. I love having the adult's wallet, it makes me so happy. I always get mad, like, only being able to carry 99 rupees because that's when I find all these, like, giant-ass rupee chests, you know. Oh, here's 50 rupees. Oh, here's another 50 rupees. Here's a bunch of random red rupees. And I've got, like, 500 extra rupees that than, like, what I can actually hold. It's the Zora Shop, yo. And as you can see, you don't really want to buy anything here. Uh, but there is a blue tunic right there, so just keep that in mind. Uh, because you might eventually need to come into this shop and buy a blue tunic. You can't uh, buy it right now, regardless, because um, you need to be an adult, because it's an adult size thing, and I think it even says it on there, so it's pretty pointless to do it that way. Alright, so we do need to go talk to the Zora King, who is up in his throne room, sitting on his throne, of course. And he's very interesting looking because, in fact, he doesn't look like any of the other Zoras that we've been talking to. He looks like a mutated Tasty Cake. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Rudo, where has she gone? I'm so worried. He looks so worried. But not worried enough to get up off of his fat ass and actually go look for her. That's our job because that's just 
what it is. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, stay tuned for episode number 13. And in the meantime, I'm going to go up here and do a little dance. Game on. Hell yeah.